This podcast addresses three misconceptions about fat. Fats really are a is a generic term referring to different types of fats or several classes of fats, which include fatty acids, triacylglycerols, or triglycerides, phospholipids, glycolipids, cholesterol, lipid-soluble vitamins, and a few others. So the term fat refers to all these different molecules rather than to one specific molecule. The first misconception about fat is that the term fat sometimes is used synonymously with cholesterol, which is completely inaccurate. In fact, cholesterol is most likely less than 10% of our total dietary intake of fat. Misconception number two has to do with the components of dietary fats. The major component of dietary fats almost 90% of our dietary fat intake is in the form of triglyceride or triacylglycerol. The remaining 10% includes all the other lipid classes I mentioned earlier. Fatty acids, phospholipids, cholesterol, glycolipids, lipid vitamins, and so on. So in fact, the major dietary intake is in the form of triacylglycerol or triglyceride. Misconception number three is that all dietary fat is bad. To dispel this misconception, the next three segments will highlight the key cellular roles of fatty acids derived from uh, triacylglycerol as well as the key cellular roles of cholesterol. Fatty acids play at least four important roles in energy production, in energy storage, in membrane synthesis, and in inflammation. Fatty acid beta oxidation in the mitochondria is the major energy producing pathway from dietary and stored lipids. Fatty acids are stored in the form of triacylglycerol in adipocytes and provide many tissues with the energy they need during fasting. Phospholipids, the major membrane components, are made from fatty acids and glycerophosphate. The essential fatty acid, linoleic acid, is the precursor of arachidonic acid, which in turn is the precursor of all eicosanoids which are important mediators of inflammation. Almost 90% of our dietary fat intake is in the form of triglyceride or triacylglycerol. And 90% of our stored fat in adipocytes is triacylglycerol. Beta oxidation of fatty acids is the major catabolic pathway that produces energy from dietary triacylglycerol or stored triacylglycerol. Fat in the diet, which is, as I said, tags, you break down the tags, you get fatty acids, and you get fatty acid beta oxidation. And fatty acid beta oxidation produces energy as well as acetyl-CoA and acetyl-CoA can get into the TCA cycle and give you more energy. So I just want you to kind of connect the dots here. Cholesterol is a unique sterol and is essential for at least four distinct cellular functions. Cholesterol is needed for the synthesis of bile acids and bile salts, 
which are needed for emulsification of dietary lipids, digestion and uptake. Cholesterol is needed for membrane synthesis and for the maintenance of membrane fluidity. Cholesterol is the precursor for the synthesis of vitamin D. And cholesterol is the precursor for the synthesis of all steroid hormones including cortisol, androgens and estrogens. In summary, it is important to underscore the crucial role that lipids play and their contribution to cellular functions, including energy production for the cell. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.